Welcome to Follow the Tangent. My name is Kimberly McQuarrie, and I'm the host of our podcast, Follow the Tangent, Archives, Art, and Anecdotes. Here we have a bi-monthly discussion that touches on the inner workings of the museum and of Dali and the world of surrealism. And we are we're ending today our three-part series with guest artist Yaman Dukanosa, whose exhibit The Visit is on view through the end of this month. So please join us for part three of this amazing conversation with this incredible artist. Now, I wanted to look closely at a work that's on this wall that's very curious. Um, and mm. I think that curious is probably the uh, right adjective for the Tramontana wall. It makes you think um, about the psyche and about the mindset. Mm -hmm. um, and this really beautiful uh, work, the Ten Enigmas. Ten Enigmas. Enigma is, una, is, a, is a very important word for, from the historical surrealism. Um, and Enigma is, I love the word Enigma because it's always, it's supposed to be something open. Mm -hmm. Enigma is something that we, we have to think about, uh, but we will not have a final uh, result of, of our speculation. It's an enigma. It's why it's an enigma. And this, uh, those are the, um, all, the, the, all the combinations that we, um, all the, it's a combinatory about. Uh, Five images, and all those are the all the possibilities to 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 combine two uh, these five images into into mm -hmm. to make a, a, a little uh, metaphor. The metaphor starts to 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 put in relation to images that uh, give us, as a present, a third one. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the key of, of, of what, why the metaphor is so important in poetry, in, the, in, all, in all the arts, metaphor in all his forms. Also, when you deny to the metaphor, the metaphor is uh, is, is is floating. I mean, the, the metaphor is a big family of things. Also, when you there are artists that, are, that sometimes that are trying to work out of. In one way, this work is when you have all the possibilities of combinations. Uh, you 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 are not choosing one. Then it, it is. Uh, it means that uh, uh, the, the 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 saturation of the of the cells gives uh, no sense. Then uh, all all the possibilities is 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 uh, is the no 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 possibilities. You 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 can choose at the same time. In the same way that uh, all the colors is uh, is is the not color. <laughs> I mean, when you when you saturate the the field of of, of sense, the sense uh, disappear as a as a central. All all the possibilities is is. Is uh, do, uh, at the end do not make sense even that we think that 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 is, uh, are, are, uh, is making sense. Mm -hmm. Then you you have all the possibilities of relation between between these uh, these images, and um, and I really like this word is a canoe and uh, an ear to to boys. Fighting mm -hmm. a woman, a naked woman with a guitar, uh, a man with a rifle, 
uh, with all the, all this combination, each combination has is making a, a new metaphor, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and also is speaking about context. What what the context is for 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 the for the image, the importance of the of the context. The, the image is not pure. The the image is always contaminated with the, with the context. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense of course that, 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 that is this this is why it's so important to, to take care of the context that the image appear to to, to put the final sense of uh, for 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 the image mm -hmm. this is a very strong magritte work that is related with a series of work that i was doing the 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 late uh, 90s in, in Barcelona, and I revisited my my own work uh, to uh, to for the show. This is a new work, but it's related with the with uh, with works investigation that I was uh, did, uh, I was doing in, in the 90s related with the how how to build a sense mm -hmm. uh, or how the sense uh, works or how to to arrive for for the nada uh, uh, the nothing uh, not 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 uh, not from the to the uh, denying the image but from the saturating the uh, saturating exists saturating yes. mm -hmm. This uh, the, uh, the saturating the the feel of 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 sense. It's, it's the verse of of a work of uh, of, of Rothko or uh, Lab, of course, or the minimal all the minimal work that had a, even that people cannot see it. Uh, the minimal art had a very strong influence in my in my in my, in my, in my work. For me, art, I have a, an, an anthropologic view about art. It's not about disciplines. It's not about aesthetics. Aesthetic. I love art. I love art. Uh, I make this art, but I love. I like art. Uh, for me, it's very it's very curious. It's very important. All the ways that art appear. Now, was a very important uh, part. Uh, there's, you were talking here about, you know, this is a more conceptual thinking about language and thinking about meaning and thinking about this idea of saturating or oversaturating um, in order to mm. complicate the concept of meaning. Um, what, as we're moving out of this main room um, and into um, one of the two smaller rooms, um, I wanted to think about um, another conceptual uh, way of looking at art. And this is the blind drawing room. Um, and I, this is just a really curious little room and um, the concept of the technique. Um, would you tell us just a little bit about that process for this set of drawings that you did? Yes, the, the blind drawings I started to make a little series of, of drawing and the perhaps uh, 10 years ago, uh, that, uh, thinking that it uh, was very interesting to, to investigate this. Uh, I used to work, I repeat, in different ways at, at the same time. Uh, sometimes my studio seems to be a... a, a, a there were is that that a lot of different artists are living in my studio, <laughs> but 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 not it's only one. <laughs> but then 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 I I revisit this this serie that was uh, was just a draft of something that could be possible in the future, and when appeared this. This extraordinary opportunity that the Dali Museum is uh, is offering me, uh, I and I when I 
discovered that there was this little room room i said this this is the place to make this um, performative uh, series uh, in a very specific way and uh, and I, the, the, blind draw, the blind drawings, just to start, is, is, is a series of drawings that I did uh, looking at this object that is in the, uh, this object that is a little dyed tree and uh, um, with a porcelain uh, head hanging in one of the branches. Uh, I, I, it's a series of 19 drawings that I did looking at this object, but without looking at the at, at the paper, looking only at the, for example, if I want to make a portrait of you, Kim, and now I start to make the drawing, but not, but not uh, looking at the paper. Here is your eye, here is your eye, here is your mouse. And, and and trying to understand how how many times it took me to move from, from one of your eyes to the your uh, other eyes is time and is and space mm -hmm. it's very is 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 like to put a invent a gps in the in the in the brain and uh, because it's, uh, of course it's space you can imagine in which part of the paper you are mm -hmm. uh, related with the other part that, that you did um, three minutes before and it's, 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 it's a blind experience but that that, that makes uh, appear images and uh, and shapes and lines in a way that uh, that was impossible if if I want to do this in conscious looking at the at the paper will 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 will, will never appear. It's related, of course, with the with the optic that something that uh, loved the surrealist, but not only with the optic, but with the automatic. Uh, automatic drawing that uh, that that surrealists uh, loved uh, to make, to work with and uh, there are a lot of experience and uh, about this always trying to to found the the hidden uh, part of, of 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 the brain that there are all kind of ways that uh, trying to, to investigate the the unconscious and after think about what these images uh, were were about uh, i mean it's it's a semi uh, half is a semi automatic drawing but uh, i think this uh, very classic surrealist experience, but with a, with a method or perhaps it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really love this 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 series of work. Uh, and the place the place was perfect, perfect, perfect. And this 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 work are related with a with a, a the anamorphosis that is in one of the in the wall in the entrance of the of this little room that is um, is an uh, there is a photo of the head that is uh, hung to the branch, uh, but um, in an anamorphosis uh, way, anamorphotic. <laughs> <laughs> anamorphic way, in an anamorphic way. Exactly. So you have to be standing at a certain position. To that's it. To that's see. it. And you, you, when you, you, you have uh, is the I choose this place for the anamorphosis also because it's the only place of the gallery that you need to be to have to enter close to the wall because there is a little space a little door that um, oblige you to, to to enter close to the wall 
No. It's a way to enter in relation with the, with the, the animal process. Yeah, and, and going with the space as well. And so, you know, it's, I think that's the interesting thing because it's always keeping the different levels that we've been talking about in mind because the literal space of the room dictates also the ability to see that particular um, work. So it's all working. Yes, uh, also, also anamorphosis is very important in a metaphoric way, something that is more, perhaps more political if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a metaphor of, uh, about, again, about context uh, that is uh, the, what we are looking at, not only with the gaze, but we are looking with our intelligence. Mm -hmm. It depends from the point of view, of the point of where you're looking at. And this is, uh, is, is very important uh, to take care of the, the relation with the, with, the, with, the, with the other, and to understand that um, our position with the other uh, it depends on the place, of the point of view we're looking at the, at the not only to the other, but to the, to, to the reality and take care or be conscious, have to be conscious of, of, uh, of how that, that our relation of, with the world is very related from the point of view where, where we are. Yeah, exactly. What, so, what we see depends on where we're staying. And in a, in a, all, all my installation is related with the transit, mm -hmm. with, with the movement of the visitor. That the, it means that the point of view is always changing, and then the relation between, between the image are always calling for different things. Mm -hmm. and all, all my work is, um, all my installation is like a machinery about 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 gaze and the and the um, uh, anamorphosis is, is very specific in this way now our final space um that has works um in it is this smaller room at the end called combat and but i think uh, one of the most interesting, one of the most interesting pieces in this room um, is this piece, the A La Deriva, um, because it's really this just beautiful synthesis um, of so many aspects of the work that you see in the other rooms. There's certainly like the symbolism, um, you know, we've seen this, we've seen this canoe in other parts of the room. So it has this symbolic value. There's also the art history references, you know, you've already mentioned relationships with Dali or Magritte or um, other kinds of artists. And here we have another art historical reference. And it's also this really beautiful allusion um, to the culture and the land of South America, where you're from. Um, and I was wondering if you just might share a little bit about this piece and how it fits into um, the theme for the combat room. Well, um, <clears throat> a dive is a, is a, for, to, to, you mentioned that the canoe appear in a, a difference. In the, there are three canoes in the in the in this project in the in, in the visit. Mm -hmm. I'm working with the image of canoe from the from the nineties. Uh, for, for me, images so sometimes are, are like words that I repeat, but uh, these words, the, these images, like, like the words, change uh, the sense depending of the, of the context. Okay. It's very... And, and, and can use very, very... It's a very important image related with, uh, with, uh, okay. with my private history and uh, in Uruguay, this canoe, this uh, Canadian canoe is very popular in, in Uruguay. 
it's the most one of the most popular things. Everybody has one to go at any moment to the river or near in, in the sea when when it's calm and the, and there is no wind, of course, because canoe is not for wind. Uh, but um, it's very popular. Very and it's very it's um, has a strong emotional sense in my, in my work. And, and a lot of times I put a, a man carrying an, uh, something in the canoe, like in this, uh, like in this one, and this something that the, the canoe is always of, uh, is related with, especially with rivers, and rivers is related with life, it's a metaphor is a metaphor of life, then every time that you see some, in the context of art, someone in a canoe is, is this, is this uh, existential uh, movement. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we are carrying something, this, this, this uh, ball or circle is something we don't know that. I, I don't know what I, I'm carrying because I, always uh, <laughs> it's always related, related with myself. It's an enigma for mm -hmm. myself, but I'm I'm carrying something. We are all carrying good and bad and good things. We we carry things in, in our life. Then um, this is for is related with the canoe. In this case. Uh, it's called it, the the work is called it, uh, a dive. A dive is a, a la deriva. It's a very 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 important uh, little tale of, of Horacio Quiroga. Uh, Horacio Quiroga was an extraordinary writer of the modernity of South America, Uruguayan. Uh, uh, a dive, uh, I think this from the night, uh, the 20s mm -hmm. of the last century. And this is, is, is a very short history. Uh, that uh, is a man that was uh, hit by, uh, by a snake in the middle of no man land in the deep forest of South America, that is an empty continent, South America. Uh, and, and he was, uh, in the reality, he was living in a house in the middle of normal land, uh, Horacio Guerrero during years. Uh, he was, uh, he decided to be isolated. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is the history of someone that is hidden by a snake and trying to, uh, uh, he entered in the canoe, trying to found a little village that were three hours or four, four hours long to try to, to find someone to help him. And he died during the, the travel and uh, he stays a dive in the Parana River. Mm -hmm. And the man, uh, and I, I crossed this image with uh, the image of uh, Holbein, an extraordinary uh, painter from the 17th century, mm -hmm. German uh, living in, in, in Basel. Uh, and this, uh, he chose this man uh, that uh, died at the Green River. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that cross Basel to make the, to represent the, the body of Christ died in the tomb before the resurrection. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the most extraordinary paintings in the history about death. Uh, yeah. Then is then it's, it's to cross not only part of our, uh, our culture, of course, we, we belong to this Christianism in, in one big part mm -hmm. uh, I, of my culture. Uh, of course, it's, it's about my, my 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 culture. But to put together at the same time the two men that were dying, one one 
one in the Rhine River in the north of Europe and the other in the Paraná River in the, in the deep south of South America. Mm -hmm. And it's a I don't know, it's an open space, or it's an open, uh, I don't, I can invent a lot of narratives and tales about this work. I just present <laughs> the, the characters of this, of this work. After this, it's not my work. <laughs> There's a lot to say. Um, now, I, I wanted to, I wanted to end today just with a couple of more open questions um, yes. and one of one of them uh one of them is a question from one of our uh, viewers um and they wanted to know if you could ask salvador dali one question what would you ask him oof 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 what the but an uh, important question. That's a huge, that's a huge question. <laughs> I used to speak <laughs> in my imagination with Joaquin Torres Garcia uh, almost every day. Joaquin Torres Garcia was uh, one of the most important abstracts, uh, paintings, painters of the 20th century, uh, central in the modernity of of, of, of South America, Uruguayan like me, live, he was living in Barcelona like I'm living now. But then I mean, uh, we share this this context with the with the master Joaquin Torres Garcia. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't used to speak with 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 Salvador Dali, but uh, perhaps. I can ask the same questions that I that, that ask. Uh, I used to ask uh, Torres Garcia. How um, uh, Torres Garcia would belong uh, belong it to the to the um, a vanguard of, uh, of 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 the twenties. He was absolutely contemporary and a contemporary artist. Um, um, now it's modern, of course. It don't make sense to work to, to work in the way of of, of, of the constructivism of, of Torre Garcia, but he was um, he had a, a, a very strong thinking about uh, conceptual thinking about what art uh, is. I'm always asking Torre Garcia. Um, how, which kind of art you will do if you were living in the in, in the twenty one century? If you you had my age or, or younger, or if you had uh, Joaquin, what if you had uh, twenty five years? What will you do with this context uh, from from the from the conceptual idea that you had. Perhaps it would be a very interesting question to, to Salvador also. I always, I love when I, it, uh, I give uh, lessons of art, of course, a lot of times in, 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 in my life, in my life. And there, is, uh, there was an exercise for the people that was starting, that was uh, to imagine an artist and uh, imagine all the biography of an, of an artist. Uh, and, this, uh, and this question that I can make to Salvador Dalí is uh, perhaps belongs to this speculation about history, about this, this uh, aesthetic fiction. Mm -hmm. Then I, will, I can ask uh, Salvador Dalí, the same that Torres, if you were 25 years old, so what today, and you had the same context and the same brain, but from the, in the context of 21st century with the technology that, that we have now, 
how what which kind of work with, with will you do of course with the uh, with the idea of language and uh, unconscious uh, behind because as i explain uh, language and uh, unconscious have no age uh, uh, with this material what will you do with the uh, in the in, in in the technical and cultural context and political context that 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 that, that we have today, is uh, think it, that's a great was, question. I would love to know the answer. Yes, it was a, it was a, uh, we are speaking about Salvador Dali that he was a, uh, imagine a lot of things that happened after in the in the world of art. You can understand and the war hope perhaps with, without Salvador Dali and the pop art, uh, the performance he was from the beginning, um, the first that uh, that put the per, uh, art art performance in in, in movement also all, also in the American television mm -hmm. <laughs> the fifties sixties was really crazy. <laughs> that I mean, uh, the, what. What can you do, Salvador, with this material and this context from your conceptual brain today? Yeah, I love that. Um, now, for the last, the last question I want to ask you is more about you, because I really want to bring this back to you. Um, we don't often get the chance to ask an artist um, directly about themselves or about their art. So I just wanted to end with a final thought. Um, the artist um, Cristo said of art, it's mm. not a profession, it's existence. And as an artist whose work is focused on immersive installations, as was Christos or as is Christos, um, does this does this ring true for you too? Is that true for you too? It's not a it's not a job, it's a, it's it's an existence. Yes, I, I can sign it. If, uh, of course, for sure. Uh, I think that uh, for everybody, every outdoor that enter in the world of art, uh, not not because. Uh, not 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 as a work, uh, but uh, a way to be in the world, or to a way to look at the reality uh, to, um, as a art as a tool to to find your your spot in the in the world. Uh, it's very it's very important. Art is also. A uh, uh, strong category of knowledge. Mm -hmm. yes. Please, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not <laughs> art, of course, it's about aesthetic, also about a lot of things, but it's knowledge mm -hmm. at the end, or, or from the beginning, or, or at the end, we can. Put it uh, together is 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 about the knowledge and 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 I think that the 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 key subject of our existence is is the knowledge is to know or try to know or imagine to know or to try to answer some of the question mm -hmm. why we are there what or and what we are, mm -hmm. then uh, philosophy, science uh, can uh, can answer or try to answer it, and it's changing the the, the answer is the uh, is changing the answer continuously because the the context again of the context mm -hmm. of the of the reality has makes this answer change mm -hmm. but art is 
the arts, the arts, not, not, not the visual art, the arts uh, is also a, a very, very, very important part of, of, the, of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for me, it's as, uh, as, uh, such important as, as philosophy. Mm -hmm. I can know, we, the artists can know the same category of things that philosophers can speak uh, speaks about. Then, uh, then of course, art is related with this, uh, with the experience of the with, uh, with life, but life not in the in the deep uh, sense of what life is. Mm -hmm. To answer these simple questions that when that everybody starts to make this question when, when it's a child and perhaps with the years um, we, we forget that we have these questions in the, in the brain mm -hmm. but art is for art is very it's, con it's a continuous question that it's, a, it's related with knowledge and with life well, I feel very lucky. Of course, everybody, every, all the artists will have his own answers. Of course, there is not a final. A final. There's no answers, no answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I feel, I just, we feel incredibly lucky that we were able to have you um, come here and um, create this amazing um, exhibition. And also to take the time to spend um, with us today to give us a deeper look and some deeper insights into it. So just want to thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much, uh, Kim. Thank you again to the museum, to the curator, so Dr. William Jeffett, and to the, the, Dali, the Dali Museum, this extraordinary collection uh, that to give me this uh, present in my life in my life to can have this conversation with uh, with with with, with surrealism thank you very much and thanks to our viewers for joining us for this episode of our podcast and be sure to tune in um, next time